Hello there, Grumpy Old Fart here. Um, I'm doing a movie review of the movie Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. It's an old movie from 1939. This, uh, this is before America got into World War II. <laughs> uh, it's a political comedy and drama, and it is a really great movie. I have not seen this movie in years. I was just reminded of it recently. I was doing some research on because the Democrats are trying to stop the filibuster, and I, 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 it reminded me of this movie. So I looked it up, and I'm doing a movie review on it. All right, um, the plot here is a U.S. senator die, uh, dies, and the man appointed to fill the vacancy is naive and presumably easy to manipulate. That's why they, they stuck him in there. Uh, Mr. Smith finds out about the government corruption and political chicanery, but rather than you know keep his head down and do what he's told, he stands his ground. He proves that every man can make a difference even the ones that aren't likely heroes there's a scene i'm going to talk about it later there's a scene uh where he filibusters and he's it's just brilliant it's funny as hell but it's brilliant all right uh this is a great movie it had 11 nominations and one academy award win very very funny the acting the characters the character development the production keep in mind 1939 so it was black and white uh, the writing, all it, all of it's great. It, there's nothing wrong with this movie. There's nothing bad about it. It's all really good. And it's got a great cast. Jimmy Stewart, Claude Rains, Harry Carey, Gene Arthur, Edward Arnold, Ruth Donnelly. I mean, in their time, back in 39, these were the mega stars. These were the big time actors and actresses. And they... they they were the forerunners of what you see today. What you see today is a pale imitation of those. That's, I'm going to say that right out flat because the, today's actors, very few of them can hold a candle to these. Um, I, whenever I do these uh, movie TV series and movie reviews, I try to do a standout. And in this, i got to go with Claude Rains. Jimmy Stewart's good in everything he does. No argument there. He's, he's, a, he's an American classic. But in this particular movie, Claude Rains plays a bad guy. And Claude Rains plays a bad guy without peer. He's not the, the guy with a gun and a mask. He'll defeat you with words. He uses his mind. And Claude Rains can do it. He's a great actor. Uh, he can do anything. Claude Rains is one of those actors that can literally do anything. When you when you If you get a chance to see this movie, and I highly recommend that you do... Watch for Claude Rains in this. He is brilliant. Now, in our right now in the real world, in our modern world right now, Democrats are trying to eliminate the filibuster. Um, this movie illustrates why we need the filibuster, and it also illustrates why the filibuster, why the Democrats don't want the filibuster. When the party in power wants to eliminate the voice of the party that's not in power, you know someone is becoming a tyrant, period. That's the only reason to get rid of the filibuster. The filibuster is the voice of the minority. And I'm not talking about minorities like black people or Hispanics. I'm talking about minorities as in the party that's not in power. Okay? Um, they, they, that's a, a term commonly used in Congress. The minority whip, the you know that kind of thing. And but minority, they mean the party that's not in power. So when 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 the guy in charge says you can't speak and you don't get to have any power, what what does that say? It says he's becoming a tyrant. In World War II, speaking out against Adolf Hitler openly got you sent to. It got you executed, at least very at the very least prison or some sort of a work camp. Yeah, you were punished for speaking out against the tyrant. Right now, they're trying to eliminate the, the minority's ability to speak out against the tyrant. We need the filibuster people. The Democrats want to do away with it for a reason. They want to stay in power forever. And they don't want anybody else to be able to say anything against them. If you get a chance to see it, the movie is Mr. Smith Goes to Washington from 1939. And I don't like to put political stuff in here, but damn it, it fits so well. I couldn't resist. <laughs> you folks have a good day. God bless one and all.